Hey folks, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I thought I'd put together some footage of a recent peacock hunt. This footage here was actually taken towards the end of the hunt, but it shows you the area we're hunting in. Well, it's a big valley, opens down to the ocean. It's got some limestone bluffs and remnant coastal forest around the valley floor. Peacock's a really nice game bird, and now their protection has been removed so we can hunt them year-round. And this is December, which is summer and is young, so it's hot. The dogs are hot, you can hear them panting. It also is nesting season, so shooting only peacocks, not the peahens, although both are legal. They were hunting with three dogs. That's Autumn. He's seven, a very experienced dog. This is his daughter, Georgia. She's just a year old. And this is Alma. She's five years old, but also a very experienced dog. We're hunting on a sheep and beef farm. Peacocks are generally seen as a pest, so the farmers are keen to have their numbers kept in control. And here's some of the coastal forest. This is a big pudidi tree which uh, has fallen over and has grown up afterwards. Here are the dogs. There's Alma. And here's Georgia. She's only recently come back uh, to me because of some uh, family uh, problems where she was. And here's Adam. This is John, my hunting partner. Just some still shots of him glassing. You can see it's great country. And here's a nice point and back. Adam's backing over on the right. George is backing in the middle. Alma's pointing up there on the left. There's a paradise shell duck flying around. You can hear her calling. Paradise shell duck is a, is a game bird. It's nesting season. So we'll get the dogs and, and try and move away without disturbing the nest. There's Georgia right there in front of the camera. Alma's quite close. Got her head turned away again. Here's the nest with the chicks. Alma. Georgia a little bit fidgety. Autumn nice and intense. This is a nice point. I'll give the camera to John and um, and move down to with the shotgun. It's really steep as you can see I'm having trouble trouble keeping my footing. I get to a place where I can cover the bird and John can move in with the camera. Put my hand on George's collar to steady her. It's hard to find some place to stand. You can see my right foot is, is a lot lower than my left foot. That's how steep it is. I'd like to move to that grassy spot up ahead, but the tree would be in the way of my shooting. You can see the bird just under the, uh, the tail sticking out, just underneath that bank out there. So I whistled the dogs in. Auden and Alec go in. Gosling. That sequence is worth watching again. I whistle the dogs in. Peacock decides it's time to leave. Adon almost catches it. I think if he wasn't worried about falling off the cliff, he might have left after. I have to wait for it to clear the tree before I can shoot. I fire. See the puff of feathers that comes out of it? 
bird goes into a big corkscrew because of the angle of its tail as it falls. Then it does a couple bounces down below. And some other birds come out of the shot. So I take two more shots at another peacock, which I hit. But another bird comes out below again to my left, and so I take my eye off that bird. Girl. That's Alma down there retrieving the bird. It's a big bird, and she's stepping on the tail feathers. So you see a whole bunch of tail feathers getting pulled out. Girl. She That's it, girl. She'll be really hot by the time she gets up here because it's a steep hill right down there. And she's got a mouthful of feathers. As she goes by this tree, look at the tree, you notice that it has um, that it's really deformed by the coastal winds. Good girl, though. Good girl. Hey, nice work, too. Good girl. Well done. Nice work, too. Hey, well done. Bring it around. Good girl. Well, nice work, too. Oh, well done. Nice work. Good girl. Well, nice work. Oh, well done. That's pretty fun, isn't it? Oh, good girl. Oh, well done. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> so we climbed down to look for the other bird that I shot, but Alma was missing. It turns out she was on point back up here, so we had to climb all the way back up here. Most of them in. Alma and Auden could dive in. And now comes a hen turkey. No, it's nesting season, so we're not shooting the hen turkeys. It was a nice point in back, though. So we then went down to look for the for the bird again, and a harrier flew up. And I thought it was on the crippled bird that we were looking for, but it turns out there was a nest here in this big sedge. It's pretty cool. I'd never found a harrier nest before. So then we went down into the valley again, and we found this big cave. So here I am standing in the bottom of the cave, looking up at the cliffs. There's a big hole coming in from the top. And here's all the vegetation, and the dogs are quite happy to have a cool spot to rest for a while. And then down on the floor of the cave, is the bird that we were looking for. It's actually a pea hen, not a peacock, but it must have fallen down into the cave. Certainly one of the more dramatic finds of a crippled bird that I've had. So we shot it up on that hill, and it must have come all the way down this ridge to the, the green part, which is the down in the bottom of the valley, which is the entrance to the cave. And there's John, something wrong with his rifle, and the, the entrance to the cave. a really nice point and back in a great shooting sequence. So Elma's on point. You can see the bird right in the sedge right in front of her. She's a very astute dog, Elma. I think that she's so close that she's turned her head to avoid making eye contact with the bird. I've never seen another dog do this. And if anyone else has seen another dog do this or has a different interpretation, I'd be really interested in hearing it. I've certainly seen dogs go on point like that, but generally they turn towards the bird, not away from it. So Auden and Georgia are pointing also on the other side of the sedge. It's a bit hard to see them. So I give the cam camera to John and I'll move in. Okay. There's something funny about the way the bird's sitting and I can't figure it out until the bird comes out that there's two of them. I didn't realize there were two birds until they came out of there. So George is retrieving the bird. And it's quite lively and strong, and she doesn't have the experience to know how to subdue it without mangling it. So I put the shotgun down and I'm going to help her. It's a bit of a swampy area, so unfortunately the bird gets pretty mangled and draggled by the time we get it subdued. It's a good sequence, so I'll um, have another look at it in slow mo. So I walk in slowly. 
bird comes up. And Georgia has a go at it. There she's Georgia. And the birds, the other birds coming up behind on the right. And then Adon goes up. He has a try at it. And I let it clear the dogs. And then I fire. And it goes down, but it's still clearly fairly lively. And then I turn to shoot at the other bird. It's also interesting that right here, Alma sees this other bird that I've shot and goes off to retrieve it, realizing that she's not really needed where she is. And that's it. A nice double on two peacocks. Unfortunately, one gets a bit bedraggled in the retrieve. And that's our hunt. We got about a dozen peacocks. This is just some footage of some cool rocks we took in a valley floor on the way back. Thanks for watching, folks.